Lalibela, a picturesque town nestled within the Amhara region of Ethiopia, boasts a rich historical and spiritual significance that beckons travelers from all corners of the globe. Situated in the heart of the Lasta district within the North Wallo zone, Lalibela stands as an enduring testament to the marvels of human craftsmanship and devotion. These remarkable architectural wonders, hewn directly from the living rock, have earned the town the well-deserved status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The awe-inspiring intricacy of these churches, each carved into the rugged terrain with meticulous precision, leaves visitors in wonderment. It is a place where faith, history, and human ingenuity converge. For Christians, Lalibela holds a position of unparalleled reverence. It stands as one of Ethiopia's holiest cities, a place where faith and history intertwine seamlessly. Pilgrims flock to this spiritual sanctuary, seeking solace and divine connection. It is a place where the echoes of ancient prayers and hymns resound through the ages, enriching the spiritual tapestry of the region. However, amid the serenity and spiritual devotion that Lalibela embodies, the town has not been immune to the turmoil that has swept across Ethiopia. The peace and tranquility of this sacred site have been disrupted by the troubling echoes of conflict. Ethiopian soldiers, engaged in a fierce struggle, resorted to heavy weapons, causing unsettling vibrations that affected the rock-cut churches. This act of violence has left the community and its religious leaders deeply concerned about the preservation of their cherished heritage. The deacon, who expressed his apprehension, chose to remain anonymous due to legitimate fears of reprisals. His concerns reflect the precarious situation that has gripped Ethiopia, as acknowledged by the UN-backed Commission of Human Rights Experts on Ethiopia. The commission, in a somber report, emphasized the gravity of the ongoing crisis in Africa's second most populous country. It lamented that atrocities, war crimes, and crimes against humanity continue to be perpetrated within its borders, casting a shadow of anguish over the nation. Abiy Ahmed and the ruling Oromo Prosperity Party have shamefully waged a war on the Amharas for five long years. For the past six months, they've enforced a state of emergency, and it's evident they're conducting an all-out assault on the Amhara people, their heritage, history, and religion. This reprehensible campaign appears to be a deliberate attempt to eradicate 45 million Amharas from the face of the earth, and it's high time the world take the Oromo politicians seriously, as their words reflect their malicious intent. The world must put an end to the madness of Abiy Ahmed, a man who seems addicted to bloodshed.